In this video we change the chapter and we are going to introduce the concept of determinants. I just want to remind my viewers that this is these are videos on the on the course of basic linear algebra. Okay, so I'm not going to introduce the concept of determinants as a function or a transformation or whatever. Okay, so I'm going just to give some notation and intuition behind this concept okay so what is a determinant the determinant of a matrix is a number that is associated with the matrix okay so if we have matrix a i'm going to write determinant this way okay there will be one number associated to each matrix okay uh, we can write it this way or also the very obvious determinant of A. Okay, so how do we calculate the determinant of a second order matrix? Okay, that's really easy. We pick a matrix with entries A, B, C, D, and the determinant will be given by so the determinant of a will be a times d a times d minus cb okay so this one times this one minus this one times this one okay so it's this minus this okay plus this one the multiplication a times d so this is positive a times d and this minus c times b okay so a quick example will be, for instance, the matrix 2, 8, 1, 4. The determinant of A will be 2 times 4 minus 1 times 8. Okay? And that 2 times 4 is 8. 1 times 8 is 8. So 8 minus 8, we will be getting 0. What about a matrix 2 by 2? Of order 2 but with complex entries well that's exactly the same okay we just do the determinant of B so that will be uh, minus 2i times 6 plus 2i right minus 4 times 1 okay so really, really easy. So this will be minus 12i, right, plus 4. And here we have minus 4. So 4 minus 4 is 0. So we have minus 12i. And that is the determinant of b. Okay, what about a, the determinant? How to find the determinant of a third order matrix? So we have an example here, matrix A, a 3 by 3, with entries A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3. And the determinant of <coughs> matrix A, we can choose, well, there are many ways to do this, but we are going to do this this way. Um, we pick a column or a row. What we are going to do is we are going to pick this row here, so the first row, okay, and we put the elements A1 here. So here we have a problem of signs, so this will be plus minus plus, okay. So this is not proper notation, but in other videos I, I will explain exactly how it works. So plus here. Here you have your minus a2 and plus a3. So you pick a1 and now you do a sort of a cross here. So what do you see? You see b2, b3, c2, c3 and you get the determinant of b2, b3, c2, c3. Okay. Now you pick a2. Here you are. As a cross, right? And So this will be A2, 
and b1, b3, c1, c3, right? And now you take a, a3, a3, you do this cross and you get um, b1, b2, c1, c2. So this will be a1 times the determinant of b2, b3, c2, c3, a2 times this determinant and a3 times this determinant. So we choose the first row. Okay, so this will be very easy now because that will be a1. And here, now you take the previous algorithm for the 2 by 2 matrices. So that will be b2 c3 minus c2 b3 right here minus a2 times the determinant this determinant oh this um, this is the sign for determinant okay b1 c3 minus c1 b3 plus a3 b1 times c2 minus c1 times b2 okay okay let us see a uh, an example. So we have matrix C four zero two one minus two five one zero one. Okay, we are going to follow this algorithm. Okay, so we are going to take this row. Um, we will see that this is not the best option. Probably I will take this column because there are lots of zeros here. Okay, we will see that in other videos probably. Okay. And now you simply follow this, okay? So this will be 4 and the determinant of this minus 0 here, very handy value because you are multiplying by 0, so this one will disappear, right? Plus 2. Okay, very easy. Okay, so 4. So I have 4 here, right? So minus 2, 5, 0, 1 here. This will be 0, right? So 0 here, so here we have 1, 1, 5, 1, 1, 1, 5, 1, and then we have this one, so that will be 1 minus 2, 1, 0, right? Okay, really easy, now 0 times this determinant, this will be 0, so we don't have to calculate this, okay, so we only have to calculate all this, okay, so that will be so that will be minus 4, OK? I'm going to leave this as a calculation exercise for you guys. OK.